Alright, welcome back for the next part of my Resident Evil 2 walkthrough. Uh, I'm gonna store my ink ribbon and my magnum bullets. Damn, I got a lot of magnum bullets. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Uh, wiping it in the green. Um. Oh. Hello. First aid spray in that walker. He has lost consciousness due to shock from the bullet wound. The wound does not seem to be mortal. So we'll be playing as Ada again. I have to catch that one. I'm just gonna leave Leon here, even though he just fucking took a bullet for us. There's a sewer map here. Down this way, and you will find some dead bodies. Doesn't look like Ada can do much with it. Where the hell did she go? She ran down this way. Alright, well, there's gonna be some. Oof, that's creepy. There's some spiders in here. Just gonna run past them. Climb up this ladder. There's gonna be a bunch of bugs in here, so make sure you just keep moving. They don't do much damage to you, but they can swarm you, and they're really annoying. from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Burton. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Burton. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bio-weapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him.
Where did you get that? It looks exactly like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Back to me! Too bad. discover that we have a sample of the G virus in Sherry's pendant that whole time. So we now have a bullet hole in us. We're gonna head over here. This is the safe room that Claire would be using. Lockers open. Looks like there's some ink ribbon here. Uh, I get some handgun bullets out of that uh, duffel bag. some herbs over here. Looks like three of them. And if I'm not mistaken, we should still have a red herb that we can make use of. this way. Pretty sure there's nothing out here though. So, here and 
You'll notice that the fan is spinning now, so we cannot go that way. Uh, we're gonna head over here to these dead USS um, agents, or whatever you want to call them. Oh, and we find that small key and the wolf metal, which we're gonna need. Um, that small key, though, I'm actually gonna backtrack now. I guess I should have came here first. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that the small key will unlock this other warehouse. So in here we'll find more magnum bullets. Damn. One more shotgun shells. And I'm pretty sure that's all that's down here. I don't think there's anything out here. The sewers kind of confuse me in this game sometimes. I kind of forget where I am. So now we're just going to run past these uh, spiders. And more spiders. Uh, actually, what? Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. If you do get poisoned by them, there's a um, blue herb station here. Oops. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, I am so sorry, folks. Uh, I have to backtrack one more time because I forgot an important item because I'm an idiot. The uh, valve.
from earlier that we used to put up the helicopter fire. So. So really quick, I'm going to run over to this thing ah, and stick the wolf metal in. Just so I don't, just so I don't ah, carry it around. These things are fucking fast. If you want to kill the spiders, I mean, by all means. We have plenty of ammo for it. Alright, so bring down that bridge and cross over. But what we're going to do now is put the bridge back up before we continue on. There's two green herbs here. There's some shotgun shells here. And so actually in the um, clear A scenario with the whole crocodile boss fight, or alligator, if you fight that boss with just guns uh, and don't explode his head with the canister thing, he you will fight him again in, in this scenario, which I think is kind of cool actually, but I didn't do that. So Ada. Leon This bullet wound isn't making things any easier Why Leon I'll catch you That's too I don't mention it. I just found out. John's dead. What? Never mind. Let's just get out of here. The sooner the better. So reunited with Ada, we come out here, 
And this is where we put the bridge back up. We're gonna run up here. And we get this eagle medal. And another file. Sewer Manager Diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible requests. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all he's done for the town, he doesn't deserve this. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun out and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't sh enter, my, enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect? August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even be, uh, search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Alright. Use the valve again and stop the fan. Now we will be exiting the sewers. to this uh, mysterious cable car. Go ahead and power it up. Or, oh, actually, it looks like it's not even... <laughs> Call the cable car. 
Because we used it as queer. tell where his arm is gonna... That's pretty easy really. box key Down here we get shotgun parts, so we can upgrade our shotgun now. Boom. Now we got like a legit shotgun with a stock. Really more like the shotgun from Resident Evil 1, which I think is super cool.
Come on, Ada. So now we head up this ladder, and we come to the area that will look familiar from... We finally arrived. There must be something hidden here. This area will look familiar from uh, Resident Evil Zero. Obviously it was in this game first, but... I have less healing items than I thought I did. I still have quite a few though. Uh, we can store the valve handle now because we're done with that. So there's another first aid spray over in here. And there's some shotgun shells here. And magnum bullets. factory that we would enter in Resident Evil Zero. We would enter from back here. There would be a door back here. Here's the factory map. Coming for us. 
Resident Evil Zero, it would be uh, Hunters instead. Uh. That shotgun's got some kick to it. And he gives us shotgun shells. Thank you, Mr. X. this new key we can call up the elevator come on let's go I think actually I'm just gonna uh, save my game and end this part here. I'm also gonna bring the Magnum I think we might be going up against another boss fight. But I don't remember the B scenario as well as the A scenario, so... Alright, so uh, I'm going to end this part here, and I'll be back for the next part very soon. Thank you for watching.